Hello, I'm Andrew and I'm one of the Culture Cooks. And I'm Shazen and I'm another one of the Culture Cooks. And because tomorrow is Peruvian Independence Day, we're going to prepare a Peruvian feast for your delectation. Three courses. Three courses. Mm -hmm. Papasada on Caina, which is yep. translated as potatoes. Potatoes in the Huancayo style. Oh, very good. Uh, and then we're doing ceviche, which is kind of a Peruvian sushi. Kind of like that. The yeah. fish is cooked, the seafood is cooked, but with lime juice. Yeah, and it's not heated. No, no. nice and cool, yeah. hot weather. Exactly, which is what we're lucky with today. Exactly. And, and lomo saltado, which is a kind of stir fry, Peruvian style. Yeah, Peruvian style. beef stir fry. So, we hope you like it. Hola, soy Andrew. Soy Shizen. Y, y somos, somos los culture, culture cooks. cooks. Y mañana, como es Día de la Independencia de Perú, vamos a preparar un banquete peruano de comidas tradicionales. De tres platos. De tres platos. Y vamos Fíjense. a hacer, a ver, ¿cuántos platos son? El primer plato es papas, papas a la huancaína. Y luego ceviche. Y luego lo hemos saltado. Y, pero no, primero antes de preparar la comida, uh -huh. vamos a brindar a nuestros, todos nuestros amigos peruanos y decirles muchísimas felicidades eh, Mucha salud para mañana su día y para todo el año Sí, con nuestros gin tonics coloniales Salud Salud, felicidades El segundo plato que vamos a preparar, pero vamos a comerlo primero es papas a la bancaína, pues, y por supuesto necesitamos papas. También vamos a necesitar eh, huevos y también galletas saladas, eh, ajíes, bueno, un ají, no, 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 no necesita tanto. Eh, aceitunas, un ají para los que no viven en, en, en los Andes, es un chile, por supuesto. Eh, también leche evaporada. Yeah. So, the papas a la huancaina has, of course, the potatoes, which are the star of the dish, egg, boiled egg, evaporated milk and crackers in the sauce, and it's served with chili and olives. Well, the chili goes into the sauce too. That's true. Yeah, but there we are. Okay, so I'm going to boil the eggs now. The eggs are for the papas a la huancaina. They're an integral part of the dish and we need to boil them and let them cool down to room temperature before we actually use them in the dish. So here we go. Turn them down. There you go. Well, lo que vamos a hacer ahora es um, cocinar unos huevos para las, pap las papas a la huancaína. Eh, pues los hemos puesto a cocinar y ahora lo vamos a dejar para que se enfríen después. Y eso. Ok, the next job is peeling our papas, our potatoes for the papas huancayo style, papas a la huancaina. And I'm sure some of you know that potatoes actually originate from the Andes region of South America. And this is a really traditional Peruvian dish. So it's potatoes from Peru where they originate from. Traditional with evaporated milk. Oh, yes, that's a colonial touch, I think. <laughs> and the Crackers as well. Yeah, Jacobs. <laughs> wow, Shazan is peeling the potatoes. I'll peel the hard boiled eggs. Okay, so our papas, our potatoes for the papas a la huancaina, are chopped and they're in salted water. So I'm just going to put the heat on and let those gently simmer until they're cooked. And you want these to cook until they're just soft. You don't want a mush. You're not making mashed potatoes. And now we're going to move on to the sauce for the papas. In this jug, I've got some extra virgin olive oil, some vegetable oil, about half and half, and half a red chili. And the chili is kind of medium hot, not too hot. And I'm going to attempt now to blend them up so they emulsify. This will be good. Da, da, da. I'm not going to get too close to the camera. <laughs> okay. Other ingredients are creme fraiche, or well actually cottage cheese, um, and some crackers, basically. Um, yeah, and that's it really. So <laughs> like now the moment of truth, we're going to taste uh, how hot the uh, sauce is, just in case. I'll swim for you. 
Yeah. Doing this move for me. You go first. We ain't. Of course, I'm the guinea pig. Mm -hmm. And you know what happens to guinea pigs in Peru? Yeah. <laughs> they get eaten. Hot. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's actually great. It's really nice. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah. Remember, we're going to add our cottage cheese, evaporated milk, and cream crackers. So Which will take some of the bite out. A lot of it. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put a touch of salt in that. It's going to need it. Do you like to add the cream cheese? How much? Cottage cheese? Just maybe half. Without, <laughs> without getting your mind on yourself. Nice and creamy, good. And I'll put in, again about half the can of evaporated milk. Un ingrediente muy tradicional. And we can both maybe crumble in yep. some of these crackers. Very good. Oops. That was a very crumble, <laughs> was it? Oh, just drop them in. That's fine too. Try not to get your, your friend in the eye yeah. as you splinter the crackers. Crumble those in. Okay, and... Again, another moment of truth. We're going to see if this works. I'll stand back. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more of the evaporated milk because it's got very thick. It's quite gloopy. And actually, that's about half a can now anyway. And give it another whiz. So you flinched slightly when I started there. Well, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous as normally. <laughs> it's too much coffee, you see. Should we have another taste, or do you want to have a taste? Yeah, why not? Mm. Might need some more salt. That's yummy. It's nice. The cottage mm. cheese works really well. Do a bit more milk, maybe. Go ahead. Just rescue the potatoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's good. It's got a definite kick though. So that chili has given it quite a lot of bite. But kick's good. Okay. I hope your mum likes it. We'll see. <laughs> so all the elements of our delicious papas a la huancaina are now prepared. We've got the potatoes boiled, the creamy sauce all emulsified and ready to serve. The eggs are boiled and I've chopped most of them up ready to garnish the dish. We've got our olives again to garnish the dish and I've served some little gem lettuce on individual plates so we're going to serve this up individually. Andrew. So the next thing to go on to the lettuce are the potatoes. Not too many actually, um, it's just a starter so one bit of potato on each piece of lettuce and yeah let's speed this up a bit um, slap it on there <laughs> to delicately placed three. on the yeah, lettuce there I'm so delicate me nice. yeah and a bit more there. yeah I think you can put a bit more a bit more okay a few more potatoes we have boiled enough potatoes to feed the street in actual fact, we're probably going to roast them tomorrow. <laughs> um, so, tomorrow on that one. Yeah, be generous. And now the creamy sauce. Yep. She then left me a spoon here. I was just going to pour it on. You could do. Um, hmm. See how you go. Let's see. Indeed. I can hear your neighbours in the background enjoying some Papa Salawankaina. That's what we have on a regular basis in this street. <laughs> it's known as the Papa Salawankaina street. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've you've poured on the sauce. What are you going to do now? Eggs now. Eggs now. Mm. Perfect. I'm such an artist. I can see. A Picasso, I think. Yeah, Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> abstract. Certainly abstract. I even have sound effects. Bloop. 
It'd probably be easier if I put the plate down to cut the oats. probably would. And this dish is actually eaten in the north of Peru, in the south. They make a similar dish, um, but instead of using the cream cheese or the, the fresh cheese and evaporated milk in the sauce, what they actually use are peanuts and fried onions and tomatoes. Is that right? Yeah. Didn't know that. So it varies from north to south. So this is a northern Peruvian dish. Huh. I first had it in Lima. I guess it's become international now. Mm. Three olives? No, I did put one. You can be generous. I'll be generous. It's looking lovely. And there we have it. Papas a la guancaina. Beautiful, In ready to eat. Perfecto. Perfecto. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Y eso es. Espero que les hayan gustado nuestro banquete peruano. Y felicidades otra vez a nuestros am amigos peruanos. Eh, y hasta la próxima vez. We Ciao. hope you enjoyed it. The Peruvian banquet, the three dishes. And happy Independence Day to Peru. Ciao. Ciao.